Okay, so I already just did my brows and if you hear any noise over there, my dog, he's out and he's playing with his toy. Excuse that. It's a little bit dark today. It could be because of the contrast of my blonde hair. But anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into this tutorial. So here's the Deck of Scarlet palette number 10. And when I was looking at these colors, I was like immediately drawn by this blush shade right here. I know it's a blush, but I really, really, really wanted to do like a cranberry smoky eye. So I think I'm gonna use that for my crease color. And then this shade right here called Zia and the blush shade is called Bay. Zia or Zaya, I'm not. I really like how it has a mirror in here so I can get nice and close. This brush from Wet n Wild, I don't know the name or the number of it, but this brush is so good to blend eye concealer. Like, it doesn't make it streaky. I don't know what it is, but I love this brush. And usually whenever I'm freelancing, I will use this on my clients because they're a lot easier to wash than like a sponge. So, I mean, they're only like a couple bucks. So I know this is like a skin tone shade. It's called Vibes, but I'm just gonna use this and pretty much put this all over my crease. So that way we can have like a really nice blend. On a Morphe M506 like small tapered blending brush, I'm gonna dip into that shade Bay, and I'm just gonna blend this on my lid and work it up. And right now I'm just cleaning off my brush, but I'm just gonna dip into Vibes once again, which is this white nude-ish skin tone shade. And I'm just gonna help blend the edges with that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take like a little flat shader brush and I'm just gonna spray it with some of my setting spray. And then I'm gonna dip into this coppery red shade called Zia or Zaya. Oh wow, this shade is so pigmented. I'm just gonna press this right onto that lid. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? I'm gonna kind of focus it in the middle and blend it upward. We're kind of doing like a halo eye. And then I'm gonna dip right back into Bay and apply some more in the inner and outer corners. And then I'm just gonna do the same to the other eye really fast. So I'm just gonna take the eyeliner that came with this month's subscription. And this is in the shade Throwback Black. It's a long lasting eyeliner pen. And I'm just gonna do a small wing. I just wanna say that this is the most flexible soft eyeliner I've ever tried. Like there's really no need to like keep going over it because it just glides on with like the first stroke and you barely have to press. So that's really, I really like this. Like really like this. Okay, so I've done the other one and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some lashes right now. So the lashes I'm gonna be applying are some Lou lashes in Miami. And I have a code, it's MadisonXO, so I'll put that on the screen somewhere. These are my favorite go-to lashes. So if you guys wanna try these out, I do have a discount code for you guys. Okay, so back at again with being orange for some reason, but right now I am baking. I just went ahead and did my face and I have bronzed a little bit, um, just cause that part's boring, but if you wanna see all the products that I used today, then go check out my previous video. We're just gonna finish off the rest of the face. So for the eyes to do underneath like lower lash line shadow, all I'm gonna do is just go in with this shade. So I'm just gonna smoke this out underneath my lower lash line. And then on this super, super, really, 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 really tiny brush, I'm gonna take the shade Balm, which is like this dark burgundy shimmery kind of color. And I'm gonna take that on the small brush and apply this as close to my lash line as I possibly can. And this is just to give that like smoky, 
dark eyeliner effect without using it you know what i mean so i'm just gonna take like this little smudger brush and i'm just gonna spray it with some setting spray and i'm gonna dip into the shade literally which is a highlighter and it's like a whitish gold and i'm gonna apply this in my inner corner and since it is just a little bit dark on me i'm just gonna go over that with a bit of like a white a bright white highlighter just to make it pop and i'm just gonna use that on the brow bone as well and then i'm gonna mix that gold shade with that white highlighter again and i'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones And then for blush, obviously I'm going to use this shade Bay that we use in here. And I'm just going to lightly tap, super pigmented, just apply this right on the apples of my cheeks. And then to blend all of that together, I'm just going to blend my bake in circular motions and blend all of these cheek colors together. And I'm just going to apply some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to set my face with some spray. For lips, I'm just going to line my lips and this is the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. Wow. On this little flat lip brush, I'm going to dip into the shade called Shambles, which is this nice lip cream and it's a nude. So I'm just going to dip in here and just apply this right in the center. Ooh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. And yeah, this is the completed look. It's super cute. It makes my eyes look really green. And overall, I'm just in love. Wow. I'm feeling myself. I really hope that you guys like this video. If you recreate 